Alrighty. What's the things they do like on Instagram? It's like, oh, tell me your uh, tell me your runner without telling me your runner. Like that. Anyways, um, you know, when I first started posting videos, I used to do this thing called quote of the day. And when I was on my run today, that rhymed, uh, I thought of that. I was like, I should bring back quote of the day and put the quotes at the beginning or the end of the video. So I'm going to read you guys a quote that I wrote. I think it's pretty cool. You know, we'll start the video with something. We'll start the video with something positive. This quote says, life is many things. One thing it's not is meant to be wasted. Live hard. That's my new thing. Live hard, love more, control what you can control and forget about what you can't. Trust your gut and know that the universe has your back. You just have to let it. Quote by me, January 16th, 2022. All right, well, welcome back to the Chan Chan. Um, today we're talking about my new favorite running shoe. If you guys have watched this channel, you know that I've gone through a lot of iterations of different shoes, uh, styles, and also brands from Hoka to Brooks to Saucony. And now we're back to, well, I'm not gonna say, but this is all about my favorite running shoe. Now when it comes to like reviews, I don't like to get super technical. I have in the past and I just don't find that it doesn't even resonate with myself. So I'm just gonna keep it real and talk to you guys if I'm talking to like a friend on the phone recommending a pair of running shoes. This Rincon is a really good entry level shoe. It's light, it's comfortable, it's pretty neutral. It has a decent heel to toe drop and it's great for like just your basic four mile run in the morning or if you wanna go on longer 15 mile runs, it's gonna do the job. I wouldn't say it's a great race shoe. I mean, you could race in it, but right, just a basic shoe. And then I would say all the Clifton's, Clifton 6, Clifton 7, again, very similar to the Rincon. The style, in my opinion, is a lot cooler, uh, but it's a good all around shoe, four miles all the way up to like longer 20 mile days. And I would say in regards to racing, it feels a little more rigid in the sole. So I think this would be a little bit better versus this, which is like really flimsy. Um, so that's that. And then like trails a different category. I went through a bunch of different iterations. The Speed Goat, which are really heavy, that felt like it was bricks on my feet. But then I go to the Stinson, which like make me, you know, six feet, five inches tall because they're like stilts on my feet. But I felt like I was gonna roll an ankle. So I didn't really know where to go. And then I came across the Brooks. And the Brooks are really good because it's more neutral of a shoe. It's flatter. I like the sole and they're really good. And so this is my go-to trail shoe. But this isn't about trails. This is about the best road running shoe, my new favorite road running shoe, which we'll get to. And then I went to the Mach 4 slash the Carbon X2. So Hoka sent me these. I tried them out. I hated them. I don't know what it was. They were too flat. They were, I didn't feel fast. I was also obsessed with the Clifton 7 at the time. And you know how it is when you just like are really into something for whatever reason and then you can't, yeah. I felt like I was like dating this pair of shoes and I was like, I don't want to date anyone new, right? I wanted to be monogamous. Now I feel like I'm kind of like just a shoe whore and I'll just date whoever because I'm all over the place, which we'll get to that. But anyways, I ended up falling in love with these, right? And so I cheated on the Clifton 7 uh, with the Mach 4. And these became my new go-to shoe. So this is a really good shoe. It's a little more rigid. They say it's a cross between the Hoka Rocket X and the Carbon X, I believe. Again, don't quote me, but it's a really good foam. Um, they're comfortable and they say this is like the all around, these are both Mach 4s, this is the all around shoe for your shorter or longer days. And then we get into uh, my late night online shopping habits, which is the Carbon X2. You know, I'm scrolling Instagram like everyone and I saw someone wearing these and racing in them and then I was like, those look really cool. I definitely need to buy some of those because why not? You know, why not spend $200 on something that you clearly don't need? So I got the, uh, I got the Carbon X2s and like, they were the dumbest purchase ever because um, they're more of just like a speed ratio and I don't really think they're a distance. Although that Jim Walmsley guy did run 100K in these on the road. So that says something. I think the selling point with these is they have a really, 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 really rigid plate in the shoe, which gives you that spring. Kind of similar to like those Vaporfly Nike shoes, which I don't even want to get into Nike. Uh, as we continue down the dating pool of shoes, we see the uh, Saucony, which I kind of recently got into. Um, and I haven't talked about those much, but again, I saw some wearing them. I think it was some triathlete and he was wearing Saucony. So then I thought to myself, well, I need to wear Saucony. That's how you find the one. You have to date a lot of pairs. So keep that in mind. You know, you guys might not know exactly what pair of shoes to buy after this, but uh, just know that you'll try a lot and you find the one you really like. And sometimes you find one you really like and you date them for a while. And then you guys break up and you go to a different pair. 
But the cool thing about shoes is you can always come back. So the Saucony, again, this is, so it's pretty rigid, got a good amount of foam. It's somewhat neutral in, in like the heel to toe drop. Um, I really liked these. I thought they were cool. Also, the design was pretty like interesting at first. I was like, that's weird. But then I saw it and I kind of gave it a chance and I'm like, you know, looks aren't everything. Like I want to know what's on the inside. And um, yeah, I kind of liked it. The Saucony, these are the Endorphin Speed 2s. They're really nice. I think it's a great shoe. And honestly, I, I would still recommend these. I would still recommend these for someone to try out. I think it's a, a great speed shoe, kind of like an all around shoe too for longer days. The funny thing is, you guys are probably like longer day, shorter day, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a beginner runner, I'm an intermediate runner, I'm advanced. All these shoes you can use for like longer days. These I would primarily use for racing. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even recommend those. Okay, so now for my new favorite running shoe. Like I always do, it was late at night and uh, I was browsing the World Wide Web and I came across them and I bought them for $215. They are the Rocket X Hulka. Damn, I love these shoes, dude. So Adam wore these, he recommended them. He's like, dude, you gotta try them. I bought them, so now we're dating. It's just us, I'm kinda, you know. Anyways, um, dude, these are really nice. And here's why I like them. So, they took a lot of the weight out of the top of the shoe, if you can see that. It's literally just mesh. Look at that. So it's a very breathable shoe, number one, but it's still really comfortable right here. There's a lot of padding around the heel. Um, the, the top doesn't bug me at all. I don't feel like I need more padding in the top, so the shoe's really good. And it's kind of this like honeycombed fabric on the inside, but then the sole. So there is a plate in the shoe. It has a pretty, I have a wide foot, so it's got a pretty wide toe box. And then right here, where like the sole of the shoe is. If you look at this, I always flip shoes over when I'm buying them in a store because I like to look at like the bottom. So like this part right here, how wide is it? If you guys look at Nikes, it's like an inch thin, thick, wide, whatever. I like a little wider part because I feel like this is where it's the, it's what, you know, is striking the ground and I want some, some meat on the shoes. I want some surface area. So. Most importantly, when I put these things on, I feel fast. I feel good. I feel like it's the perfect blend of everything you need in a shoe. Um, and also, they look great. And yeah, also, I'm not going to lie, a lot of triathletes wear these. I mean, that's pretty much it. All there's left to do is uh, cut to the run portion, and you guys get to watch me run 10 miles in these badass shoes that I'm now obsessed with. So this is now the shoe I'm dating. Um, we're going long term, we're committed to each other, and I think it's gonna be a solid relationship. Time to run. Oh, my